Bertha? Uh, no. Well, what's that you got there, Map? You ain't interested in no scrap paper. It's nothing. Just something for wiping and sniffing in the night. Yeah. Well, I got to go now. Ain't you being a little hasty here, mister? If I got a this is tail, as nice as I'm gonna ask. Hand it over. Now! Whoa, whoa, whoa. No need for that, friend. This curse is just getting stronger and stronger.
Look at this. Hey, you! What do you want? Howdy. You Granger? That's my name. And my occupation, too, if you hadn't noticed. Weren't always like that, though, were you? Used to be a quick draw guy. You knew Jim Boy Calloway? Used to be's correct. Then there's a long over. And who might you be? Don't matter. I need you to tell me about Jim Boy. Just a quote for a book. A book about Jim Boy? <laughs> Well, shit. I can't talk to you now. Look at me. I'm knee-deep in hog crap. Well, don't mind me. We can talk while you work. <laughs> I ain't talking and shoveling. Besides, a young man like you would get it done in half the time. I don't know about that. What's to know? You interested in the old days? If you shovel this shit, I tell you some stories. You keep your hands clean, I don't give you squat. Ah, damn it. These better be some stories. Oh, they are. Pick up the fork and get to work. Or get out of here and stop wasting my time. All right. I'll shovel your damn shit. Jim Boy weren't nothing, you know. Me? I killed men, women, and children, too. Animals. I even killed rocks. And I killed them good. I shot folks, stabbed folks, skinned folks. I scalped some. <laughs> Boy, they scream when you scalp them. Hey, let me work. Don't know what's got into these hogs, but I know what's coming out of them. <laughs> I bash folks, butchered folks. I burned folks alive. Buried folks alive. One time, I... Yeah, I get it, all right? You're mean. What about Callaway? Now it's clean enough to eat off. Uh, I guess I'm done. Get that barrel to the shit pile, and I suppose you is. All right. No shortage of shit round here. Comes from hungry hogs and no hands. Uh, uh, hell! Uh. Thanks. <laughs> okay, I cleaned up your mess. Go on. Tell me about Callaway. I said I'd tell you stories. I didn't say they'd be about him. Don't trifle with me, old man. You knew him. Just give me something, anything. You're making a book, you should make it about me. They're just words, is all. Give me something to say and I'll leave you alone. You owe me that. Hey, you be careful. Killer like me, it don't take much to end up on the end of my knife. One hey, time, you know I... what? I don't think you were anything at all. Just a crazy old man. I ain't a killer? <laughs> well, you'd already be hog feed. I hadn't made a deal with the Federals got this far. This is your last chance, Mr. Granger. Give me a quote from the book! Hey, hey, hey you don't you don't hit no man of peace, no government witness. <laughs> Calloway said you was full of piss, but he didn't tell me the half of it. I'm itching to drop you, girlie. Only you ain't worth my time. I, I got too much to lose. Too much to lose? Well, seeing as I cleaned up this pig's die, I figure I'm in my rights to wreck it. Let's see. You don't want to do that? You walk away right now. Well, well. All I wanted was a quote. You don't know who you're trifling with. That's my stick! No. No. No! You did not! You just took yourself a regular shit shower, Mr. Granger. Boy, that's real nasty. You earned yourself a killing. And I'm gonna enjoy it now. Draw! It's gonna be the last thing you do.
Don't leave me on here! Come on! Don't do all that killing, then just leave me on here! Taking care of all your troubles. Oh, for the love of God, don't you take me in now? Just doing my job, friend. Seems you're a wanted man. done nothing wrong ain't my job to determine that <laughs> you gotta believe me I ain't broken no law my whole life yeah sure me neither Word is, this fella's got a bounty on him. <clears throat> I'm here to collect. I ain't done nothing. This son of a bitch killed two men in cold blood just to bring me in. Arrest him! I don't want to hear it. Get him alive just so we can string him high. Law's a funny old thing, ain't it? Oh, crap! 
some dead man kicked out my pa's walking cane. Right in the middle of the street. Come on now. Extra, extra. Come and get it. Easy. Let's go. I got places to be. Hey. Hey, be careful. Hello, sir. Hey, I'm looking for some fellas sojourned around here. Boy Calloway and a rider called Levin. Drunk Boy Calloway. This bar's got bullet marks to remember him by. Last I heard, they was in San Denis. Had rooms on a riverboat there. San Denis on a riverboat? Oh, okay, then. I wouldn't drink here, though. Get on to Sam Denis and hand you some Sazerac. If there's anything else I can do, you let me know. Dang, you've been gone a while. Well, spit it out. What do you need? You look like hell, mister. Likewise. I'm in the prime of my life. Right. Here's your oatmeal. Hey, partner. Oh, you finished that quick. Thank you. Okay, then, girl. You caused enough trouble, huh? Beating up half the saloon like that? Near killing Tommy out in the street? You've gone funny since then. Keep your opinions to yourself or you're next, okay? Don't fellers like you ever get bored of pushing folk around? Get your head out of your ass. Your friend had worse coming. I let him off easy. Leave me alone. Back off! You got nothing better to do. Just get out of my way. I'll be tending to you shortly. I'll take anything you got for me. Can I pay his service? Oh, dear. Have you come down with the flu as well, sir? Flu? No. What are you talking about? Nothing. It's just been going around, that's all. Anyway, how can I help you? Good day to you. Hello? Need a ride? I can get you there. You give me a ride? Where can I take you? Can you take me to San Denis, please? Best settle in, then. This'll be a long one. up for your stop. Thanks, mister. You help me out. Clear! I need to pass. All right. 
there. This is the famous Hello. Grand Corrigan. Everything okay with you? Stay, girl. Yes. Hey, I'm looking for boy Callaway and the man writing a book about him. This is the riverboat they're staying on? Yes, sir, they're here. Around this time, Mr. Callaway usually enjoying a drink on the observation deck. You can follow me. If you're quick, you might catch him sober. Oh, my friend with no name. You found us. Sure. How did you get on? About how you'd expect. Well, any good anecdotes? Anecdotes? From the old days. Well, uh, to be honest, things went a little differently. Uh, I did shoot a lot of people. I, I thought that's sort of what you wanted. Well, I'd, uh, <clears throat> yes, that'll be fine. Do you think anyone noticed it was you? Noticed? I think the people I shot noticed. <laughs> I mean, do you think anyone would mind if I, if we said he'd done it? Boy Calloway. Sure, I don't care. Just as long as I... Share the money? Of course I will. <laughs> Literature is a filthy business, but sometimes it pays well. Especially when you lie. Great. That's a goddamn fest! What the hell's going on here? Uh, nothing. Who's this grass snake? Uh, you know? I don't know. Have you been being me? I'm nobody, buddy. But I'm somebody! <laughs> and I can't have any nobody being this somebody, you goddamn... I don't know what the goddamn you are, but trust me, it ain't nothing I want to be, so you can't be me. What a way with words. Oh, damn you, Theodore Levin. You're a snake. Damn you. Hey, damn you, nobody. Hey, I'm already damned. Oh, God. But I can't take credit for that, which I... Damn says I didn't. I... I'm an old man. This never happened to Achilles, to Gawain, to Caesar. It can't happen to me. I will kill both of you. Calm down. I'm a legend. Yes, you are. <sighs> all, right, all right, well, let's prove it one more time. I don't have to prove nothing to you, nobody. No, of course you don't. But maybe you need to prove something to you. <laughs> you got quite a way with the words. Maybe uh, you should write my book and we should kill Plato here. No, 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 no. <laughs> let, let's not. Now, come on. Who shall we kill? I mean, you kill, I mean. Ah, damn. I slayed my dragons years ago. I'm a tired old man. Ah, uh, now you're drunk and you're bored yeah. and you're a mess. Well, I always hated Slim Grant. Oh, he killed my cousin. But that was years ago. Well, where's Slim Grant? Who's Slim Grant? This is him. An old friend of Mr. Calloway's. He ain't no friend of mine. He's state marshal now, out of Annisburg. State marshal? Make a damn cousin killer state marshal, do they? All right, I'll go get him. Great. We'll wait for you at Brandywine Drop. All right, just sober up and start practicing. Otherwise, this won't be a book. It'll be a memorial. Yeah, whatever you say. <laughs> you know what? I kind of like that fella. Mister? That's what I like to see. Get after it. Come on. Things to do. Howdy, sir. Why are you behaving? Monsieur. 
Don't get any closer. Hey, uh, the performers asked me to come see them here. Uh, help them out with something up in Van Horn. All right, I'll let them know you're in. Curtain's just about to come up, so why don't you take a seat, then come back and see me after the show? <laughs> All right. you welcome welcome everyone I am your host Aldridge T Abington thank you yes Aldridge T Abington few men have had a career more crowded with incident and various intercourse with the world than I during extensive travel through this and foreign lands I have procured a show so fantastical there exists Nothing like it. Anywhere. In an effort to bring this entertainment to even the poorest dreamer of dreams, I have determined the ticket price should be very low and the show held without a profit. To me, it's true. For it is blessing enough to bring these gifted artists to you. I met these odd fellows in a tavern in some godforsaken place, entertaining cretins. They are quite a capricious bunch, presenting Miss Marjorie and her medical miracles. Miss Marjorie's medical miracle, Bertram the Pinheaded Giant! He ain't even as smart as he looks. <laughs> but what he lacks in brain, he makes up for in wrong. Ooh. Our half witted Hercules is as strong as a Bring boy. out more freaks! You, sir, would you assist? Me? Hell yeah! Come on up! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah! Let's see it! <laughs> oh! Yeah. You look like a strapping young lad. I want you to hit him. Right here, right in the breadbasket. Go on, give him a real big suck. I don't know. Oh, the only do danger it. is breaking your arm. What are you afraid of? Ah, come, come on! on. Do it, do it! Oh, all right. <laughs> Hey, sometimes he gets carried away. What kind of a two Let's freaks for dancing, girl? <laughs> freak nearly killed me. No, 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 The Magnificent, and I have tamed the beast. Drop him! Hey. Ha -ha. Hey. Ladies and gentlemen, I, Magnifico the Magnificent, am a master of 
Apparition! Oh my god! And dissipation! And even the art of <laughs> transfiguration! <laughs> Oof. I have mastered hypnosis, telekinesis, telepathy, and escapology. And now, for my next feat, I will relieve Miss Marjorie of her frock. This. You doing, you nasty little pervert? What? Damn it! We were gonna give them a show! You're not like that, you're not! I give up. <laughs> Amateurs! Go follow your brother! Well, that's our show! Well, tiny people and tiny-headed giants, curious things. Mate. They are a delight and can make you money. So, before you snuff out that oddly-shaped baby, bring them to me. I discovered this next act in a tiny village in Italy. Truly the most exotic of places in the world. Yeah. He was just a ten-year-old boy. I raised him, I bathed him, yeah. I shaved him from head to toe. Nobody he is cares. truly a wonder to behold, presenting Benjamin Lazarus! and mystical prowess, my dear ladies and gentlemen. Now, it's unfortunate fact that in this mortal coil we are all born to suffer from all manner of maladies in daily life. Who here has not had a friend or loved one near death's door from coal gas fumes, typhoid fever, diphtheria, or the bite of a rabid animal? The greatest wealth is your health. All the gold in the world cannot purchase it, and yet it is the most delicate and tenuous of all life's gifts. And nothing knocks down death's door faster than this. <laughs> a man cannot outrun a bullet. Many fools have tried and failed in this endeavor, including the tonic salesman I caught petting my wife. <laughs> I joke. I joke. <laughs> this is true. I assure you, he has met his maker and they are playing gin rummy among the molten lava of Hades. Oh, <laughs> I have traveled all around the world, this delighting young and old, with all manner of feats of amazement, but none are as dangerous as what I am prepared to attempt tonight. Oh, I, I will hand this Didi Packenbush revolver over to my assistant and stand at considerable distance across the stage. She will point the revolver at my head and pull the trigger using lightning quick reflexes taught to me by a tiny man I met in the distant orient. I will catch the bullet in my teeth. Yes, my teeth. To prove that these are indeed live rounds, if my sharpshooting assistant would be so kind as to shoot this bottle of Lalikola off my head. This is insane. Yeah. Hey, this is off so my head. Here we go. Careful. Yeah. I could do without a bullet in the brain right now. Okay. Oh my god. Come on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Sweet What's Jesus. Going on here? Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. That this always scares me. <laughs> now, observe. As I, the great Benjamin Lazarus, will do what no man has ever done and cheat death. 
as if it were nothing. What is he doing? Let's do that again. Hmm? Right. Hmm. Oh, I can't take it. You're you pulling my leg. This is a bunch of dang balderdash. Ah. Oh, damn. <laughs> a skeptic. Hmm? I'm huh. to watch the show. And Benjamin Lazarus. I assure you, I am not participating in some hoax or carnival rules. You ought to pay us. These bullets are 100% real. In fact, I challenge any member of the audience to come forward with their own firearm, and I will yet again display my uncanny skill to catch a bullet in my Did teeth. You hear that? We need another act. Is no one man enough? Come on, someone, stand up and take a shot. All right, fantastic. Yeah. Now. Ladies and gentlemen, I will prove to you I am the greatest entertainer to ever live and the only man who laughs at death. Now, ready? Take a. Oh, you're gonna fight this too much. This is incredible. And fire. <laughs> it's 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 ah. just entertainment anyway. Oh, wonderful. Yes, it, it, it's all like a it's a bit like a lynching, only less American. <laughs> Marvelous stuff. Huckster. Marvelous. Yeah. Now, I discovered this next remarkable woman in a lost jungle, <laughs> deep in the wilds of Colombia, where they do not wear clothes. She breathes fire! Yes, she does! And for those with the universal and not unworthy curiosity, yes, I can attest, she does emit fire from almost every orifice in her body. <laughs> Presenting Antoinette San Servino! Quite something. Yeah, I gotta go deal with this. Oh, there's something here for you. Oh, good luck. These novelty acts. Don't get this with dancing girls. <laughs> 